future has always been uncertain, isn't it? You may feel the uncertainty, the quality, so to speak, stronger, you know, when we are going through a difficult time. Uh, but if you really think about it, future, right, future, <laughs> for all our life, you know, for throughout our life, if you think about the future, it has always been uncertain, isn't it? You know, we can expect something or we can project something, but it's always been uncertain. The future is always uncertain, you know, that's the beauty of the future, isn't it? You know, if the future is kind of like certain and set in stone, then that's like the past. So it's not that much fun, so to speak. The fun, for, the fun part comes from being uncertain. <clears throat> I'm sorry <clears throat> if it's not the right thing to say, but actually it is quite interesting, right? Future being uncertain is quite exciting and, uh, you know, it gives us a lot of uh, opportunity. You know, if the future is not uncertain, there's not much opportunities. First thing we need to do is identify the fear or anxiety. So how do we do that? When anxiety or fear of uncertainty uh, arises, arise, you know, be aware of it as soon as it begins to surface in your mind, right, in your thought process. Uh, try to be aware of that, uh, kind of like, or what do you call it, uh, spot it. And then um, try to gently calm that thought, that, that thought of uh, uncertainty or anxiety by first labeling it, like we do in the meditation, label it, right? And say, oh, I have a thought of uncertainty. Oh, I have a feeling of anxiety, right? I experience this feeling. I experience this feeling of anxiety, right? I have this thought, thought of uncertainty, right? Like that, label it. And when you label it and look at it, then many of these thoughts are not rational, rational thoughts, you know? Uh, there are many, many thoughts coming and mix and they try to intensify our fear of uncertainty, intensify our fear of the future, you know. So first, label it, right? And then next, what do we do in this process is try to see clearly how we are projecting so many things towards the future. You know, how many things we are projecting. Uh, how many of these thoughts are just like, how do you say, random or un, how do you say, unrelated thoughts, right? Mixed together and making it more intense and fearful, right? You try to see that. Just try to see that clearly. Okay. So that's the first thing, right? First thing to identify the fear in this way, right? Seeing, try to see it clearly. And the second thing, we can try is to relax your mind in that moment. Take a deep breath and try to relax and try to stay positive, you know. Um, so you can use any methods of relaxing, relaxing with breath or relaxing with anything that will uh, not be connected to these thoughts and feelings, okay? Something else, anything, you know, that will bring positive experience of your mind, right? Uh, even meditation. <laughs> of course, meditation is the best if we can do that. I mean, from that's my biased thinking. <clears throat> it relax your mind, yeah. That's the second thing, okay? And the third thing we can try here to work with this sense of anxiety and fear of uncertainty is to connect uh, with Wisdom, so to speak, connect with wisdom of, okay, this is a specific wisdom, not just a general wisdom. Connect with the wisdom of what you don't know. <laughs> this is my crazy thinking. Yeah. 
Um, you know, take a little time. Uh, take a little time and reflect on what you know for sure and what you don't really know about future, right? Very important, specific thing like future. You know, what you know and what you don't know. Make it very clear, wisdom, dis uh, discriminating awareness, right? Make it clear what we know for sure and what we don't really know, right? It's very clear, right? It's your mind. You know what you know and you know what you don't know, right? You don't have to ask someone anyone you know and so make that very clear okay especially what you don't really know part okay not knowing part and then you know i mean like knowing what you we don't know is the great wisdom right i've always been saying that knowing what we don't know is a wisdom isn't it and so, therefore, you know, here, you know, bring together all the facts, right? If you have a problem dis discerning, then bring some more, like, reasoning, rational mind, all the facts, right, together and make a list of things, you know, that you know for sure, you know, it's going to be absolutely bad <laughs> in the future, or for sure it's going to be absolutely good, whatever, you know. You know, make a list, you know, uh, with reasoning, with logic, with facts, you know, with rational mind. List of things, you know, you don't know, you know, you list of things you don't know. And then when you look at it, then it becomes very clear, right? Very clear. We don't need to really kind of uh, freak out uh, about the uncertainty, so to speak, you know. If you look at clearly in this way, we have always functioned this way until now, isn't it? You know, if we have a healthy mind, we've always functioned this way. Uh, and so don't get this kind of, uh, how do you say, uh, unfavorable condition that the world is experiencing right now to overwhelm you, right? You know, we already have the great wisdom. And so try to spot, you know, as many thoughts as possible that are not based on knowledge, you know, and make a list. That are, that, that are not based on knowledge or reasoning or rational mind, make a list. And then when these thoughts come up, hmm, it's easy. You know, you say, oh, these thoughts have no basis, <laughs> right? And then you can really worry about those few on the list that maybe make sense, you know, and that is okay. You know, we should worry about that and try to fix it, you know, no problem with that, right? And the last thing I want to say, the fourth point, so to speak, is be positive, right? Uh, try to stay positive uh, by seeing the positive side of things. How this maybe unfavorable condition can bring a positive result, you know. And sometimes unfavorable conditions we experience, we don't have a control, right? It happens and it has happened already sometimes. And then now what we are left with is how we can use it for a positive cause, 